I say yo. Welcome to the BBW show. You feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling on a daily basis. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. The topic for today is wrestling. More importantly, the bloodline storyline. You feel me? The bloodline storyline has been going on for three years now. Literally three years. Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso started off the bloodline. After Roman Reigns beat Jey Uso, Jey Uso joined Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. That led to Jimmy Uso eventually coming in. That led to Solo eventually coming in. Three years later, we still have the bloodline as a faction. You feel me? Um, I think the bloodline is going to go down as one of the best groups, honestly. One of the best groups in WWE. They were probably but They were a little bit better than The Shield. A little bit. The Shield has had better matches as a trio, but the Bloodline was around way longer, and they was main eventers way longer. The whole Bloodline group is main eventers. Roman Reigns, Solo, and the Usos, they all be main eventer shows. The Shield was only doing that as a team. If the Shield wasn't a six-man tag together, they wasn't single main eventing. The Bloodline main events, whether it's together as a faction or as singles matches. That's what makes them one of the best factions in WWE to me. Now, I feel like we're going in circles. I honestly feel like we're going in circles. And now the champions, we get in Roman Reigns and Solo versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens for the tag team titles. That's going in circles. Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens, they've been feuding since like January. Some shape, form, or fashion, they've been feuding since like January. Honestly, you can go back to War Games, matter of fact. Because Kevin Owens was in War Games. This is before Sami Zayn turned on Roman Reigns. So they've been feuding for each other since like... November, last November, bro, we are in about to be in June. We are about to be in June, almost a year's storyline, bro. It's been good, but I feel like now it's definitely dragging. I don't want to see Roman Reigns beef with the Usos no more. Now he's beef with them because they didn't win the tag titles. It's like they keep going in circles, keep going in circles. I know some people want this to happen. I don't want to see Jey Uso versus Roman Reigns no more. I don't. Jey Uso definitely been the one carrying the bloodline with his storyline to his face shoes and all of that. But I don't want to see him versus Roman Reigns no more. I don't think Jey Uso is that guy as a singles wrestler. I feel like he's way better as a tag team than as a singles. So I don't want to keep setting up or keep building to Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso just for Roman Reigns to beat him again. That makes no sense to me, bro. It makes no sense to me. But I do feel like the Bloodline storyline is like treading water. You feel me? Like, there's nothing new happening. Now it's Solo feuding with the Usos. First it was Roman Reigns feuding with the Usos. Then it was Sami Zayn feuding with Jey Uso. It's like, bro, the Bloodline is always beefing with each other. Like, come on, bro. We can't do that. We can't keep doing that. We can't keep going back to the formulaic, oh, it's beefing the Bloodline. It's beefing the Bloodline. That storyline is dragging, in my opinion. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.